In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to style a contact form in Adobe Muse. So let's begin. This is the, the site I created for this demonstration. Uh, I chose a coffee theme to demonstrate how you can style a contact form. So it doesn't have to be, you know, the regular linear contact form that just says, you know, your name and your, your email address, phone number, and, you know, other information. This actually has a little bit of style to it. Uh, the contrast might not be the best, but again, th this is for demonstration purposes, and you can play with it once we go through this demonstration. Um, so you can see it's, would you like some free coffee? And this could be used in, a, in an example to, let's say, build a subscription list. You know, maybe, uh, you know, you sell coffee and you want to kind of entice people to fill out some information or any contact form, just have it be more intriguing and more visually uh attractive so that when somebody does fill it out they're like oh cool i can you know fill it out this way and it's kind of an interesting way to do it and uh so you know here for this example i said uh would you like some free coffee what's your name they can fill out their name right there what's your email oops sorry what's your email and what's your favorite coffee and then they can hit submit right over here so let's say i don't put any information let's see what happens they hit submit and get that and then these are all required so I made it so that they have to fill these out before they can go on to the uh, before it can submit this information all right and because we don't have it live on a, um, on, a on a website this is locally right now we're actually going to get this error here but that's okay for the moment because I'm just going to show you how to style it and how to make it look uh, you know not like a rigid contact form all right, so let's begin. I'll get into the uh, to the project file. Uh, the project file is right here. So a few things I did. I just I changed the text. Um, I changed uh, the colors of of the of the uh, of the boxes when they when the user types in their information. Um, and that's pretty much it. Of what I've done for this site. Uh, so let's see. Um, anything else? Okay, so I'll just I'll create a new file. I'll start this completely from scratch so you can see exactly how I did it. So I'll go to File, New Site, click OK, and I'll just click in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle with the rectangle tool. I think the height of that previous one was 850. Uh, okay. Yep. It's usually nice to have, to make it a little, um, you know, the height a little bit less so that if somebody is using a laptop, you know, uh, they don't have to keep scrolling. But for this purposes, I kind of, I made the fonts really big, so I had to make the picture bigger. But you can play with it and, you know, make sure it looks good on all different devices and, you know, laptops and, and everything else. So let me just do that. I took the stroke off. So now we just have a rectangle. I'm going to fill it with an image. So add image, and it's this image right here. Oh no, that's not it. Fill. Uh, let's see. Fill. Uh, here we go. This is it. Okay, and we want to scale to fill so we can see the whole thing, and that's good. And then for to get this white off of here in the in the browser mm -hmm. fill, um, I'll just click right here and change the color there where it says browser fill now we have this image with uh, a browser fill so it has a little bit of style to it and so now what i want to do is insert the contact form so to do that i click on object insert widget form and i'm going to insert a simple contact form so i just click in here and right away you can see this is what you know Muse puts in as a contact form. You know, let's say I did have that, that's kind of not too exciting. It's just like, oh, you know, I'm a contact form. So what we want to do is just click. Uh, this requires kind of, um, you know, folk, I'll, I'll call it focused clicking because you have to click and make sure that you've selected the different areas of this contact form. You can select the whole name area. We have name, email, and message. So you can actually select you know the name area and you have to make sure that the dotted lines are around name and your name and then you can just drag it anywhere you'd like I'm gonna drag this one up here I'm gonna drag this one up here 
and I'm going to drag this one right over here. And the submit button will just leave right there. Okay, so now we have the contact kind of broken up into different places. It's still one the same, you know, one contact form. It's just placed in different areas. So now what I'm going to do is change the text. And what's what's interesting about this contact form is when you change it on one area, it changes it for all of them. So I just have to change the text for the name area. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it, uh, let's do 36 and I'll do this font right here. Okay. And now we can just move, if we just click on the name area, we can move that and we can move the box area separate from the name area as well. Um, okay. Yeah. We'll just move it up here. That looks good. And now I want to style, uh, the text instead of this gray, I'll make it a white. So the contrast is a little better. Um, so you know you can see it and you know just put email so we can see it um, so yeah we'll just style that a little more in a second so now I'm just going to change the text to what's your name what's your name and you know we can we can widen the text box so the text fits in better and then here I'll just put you know what's your email I put an exclamation. Actually, I might put the semicolons in. What's your email? Yeah, the exclamation just to make it more, you know a little bit more fun. And instead of message, I'm gonna say, "What's your favorite coffee?" Okay, that seems to fit pretty nice. It looks a little bit nicer than you know how I made it before. I made it really big last time. Um, I'm just trying to select this whole, there we go. Yep. So I'm going to move that down, move this down, and I'll move this down. That looks good. And then I want to make the submit button, um, the text a little bit bigger. So I just double click inside there and let's make it 36 and we'll make it the same font. It was room, room metal one. And now it's, that's a bit better. And I just have to make the rectangle box a bit bigger. Okay, and I'll put it right there. And then I'll just add some, some more text, like, you know, uh, you know, what, what did I write in the last one? Oh, would you like some free coffee? Would you like some free coffee? Um, fill out the forms. Fill out the form below. And you don't even have to say form because it's so it's more st styled that when I think of form, I always think of, you know, I could just say fill out the information below. That might be a little bit nicer information uh, below. And I already wrote below here. So I just delete this and for information below. Okay. And again, I'm going to make this white so that the contrast is a bit better. And I'll make it, uh, yeah, we'll do 36 as well. Oops. Yeah, fill out the information below. Okay. And because this contrast is not that great up here, you see the white, you can't read it over the cup. I'm gonna add a background I'm just going to make a bigger rectangle. Um, and before I do that, I'm just going to arrange, bring this to the front and just put this right here and change this rectangle to a fill of let's say brown. That looks better. Okay, so now we have, we can actually read the text and we can put it, yeah, we can put it like, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe there. Um, yeah, and so what we'll do, and I'll take off the stroke off here, add a stroke of one. So what we'll do is we'll we'll kind of bring this um, this form down a little bit. We could bring it down there, and yeah. Actually, I'm going to make this text smaller because we don't want to take up so much room. Yeah, that's good. 
and then I can bring this up a little bit. I hold down shift and hit the up, up arrow and that kind of moves up in increments and in nice increments. That lets me play with the positioning of different things in Adobe Muse. And yeah, that looks, that looks good. Uh, so what's your name, what's your email, and what's your favorite coffee? Now let's preview this in the browser. And so far that's looking pretty good. But if you do notice, I don't know if you can see it in the YouTube video, um, in YouTube, uh, these boxes have kind of a gray background to them. I want to make it more white. And at the same time, I want it so that if you hover over these boxes, they light up. Like if we look here, let me just refresh this. They have kind of a cool light up effect. And, and that's what I would, you know, like somebody hovers and like, oh, interesting. It has a nice hover effect. So what we do to do that, we just click on the, you know, make sure you, you've selected uh, the, the text in the text box and make sure that it's selected with the rectangles around it, the little squares around it. Uh, so you just select it. And then for fill, change the color to white. I just change the color to white. And uh, for rollover, we want to do, so where it says text input, we want to do on rollover. And then, so I'll do that again. We select the text box, go to text input, click empty, and then click rollover. So on the rollover state, we want it to have that, um, that effect that, um, that it glows when you hover over it. So effects, and then it's the third one where it says glow. Click on glow, the color, you want it white, opacity 100%, and the blur, I think I did 20. 20 is a, is a good amount, yep, that looks good. So let's preview how this looks, Command Shift E. And as you can see, when I hover over the text box, it lights up, it turns kind of that white glow around it. As you can see, we have a, a little kind of error here where we have to make this text box a little bigger because it brought the word coffee down underneath the uh, text box. So let's just go in here and we'll just widen it a little bit there. Let's give it a little more room. We could even do, let's just do that. I think that'll fix it. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we have that hover effect over the, uh, the different text boxes. Okay, um, so that's that's that. Uh, and the other thing I want to style is the submit button. So I double click and I just make the text white and let's make this box uh, red, kind of this red here. So there's submit. Um, and you notice, one thing you have to notice with the contact form, there's a few different states. There's the um, there's the rollover state, the active state, there's the, yeah, there's the empty state, non-empty rollover focus and error. Make sure you pay attention to these so that you style your contact form correctly. Um, so just, you know, there's, there's an error state. So like if you get an error, if the, if the user doesn't fill out the form completely, it'll give them an error. So just to show you an example, if I hit submit right now, these two texts turn red because they're required. This one doesn't turn red because I didn't set it to required. But if I go over here to this area and I click on this blue button and I say require entry and then we preview it and I hit submit, they all become red because they're, they're required. Okay. So I'm trying to think if there's any anything else I can show you. I'll show you how to change I'll change the the, uh, the the active state on this. So my idea with, with the submit button was first red, then yellow, and then green. So if we click on the rectangle here, on the mouse down state, I want it to be yellow. So when they click on it, it's yellow. And once it's in progress, I want it to be green and the text to be white. Okay, and so mouse down, that looks good. Rollover, uh, rollover we want it the same as the, um, the normal state. All right, so that looks good. So let's preview it. 
Yep, so that's it. Once I click on it, it turns yellow, and then, you know, this is the error. I could actually change the color of the error um, message that says, you know, you have to fill it out. Okay, so that's pretty much it for um, for styling your contact form. Uh, as you can see, you can do a lot with this with this feature. You can, you know, really style it to your liking so that it fits the theme of your website, and it makes it interesting for someone to, to fill it out. Um, again, Muse makes it very easy to do, to do this. Doing this with code isn't always that nice or as easy as Muse makes it. You know, Muse is just, you know, you just style it, change the fonts, and, and you can really, you know, make something interesting for users to, to fill out. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.